Welcome back. Go ahead and suffocate the like button. Stick around until the end to see our next disturbing story you can't afford to miss. Night of the Nixie. In the heart of Europe, nestled among dense forests and crisscrossed with meandering rivers, there lay a village that thrived on tales of the Nixie, a water spirit known for its beauty and malice. According to legend, the Nixie would lure the unwary to watery graves with her enchanting song. Thomas, a young scholar fascinated by folklore, dismissed the stories as mere superstition, a relic of the past not fit for the modern age. Driven by curiosity and the desire for a story to publish, Thomas ventured to the river at twilight, the time when the veil between worlds was said to be thinnest. As the sun dipped below the horizon, painting the sky in shades of crimson and gold, a melody drifted across the water, ethereal and mesmerizing. It was the Nixie, her song more beautiful and haunting than Thomas could have ever imagined. Captivated, he found himself stepping closer to the water's edge, his rational mind clouded by the song's spell. It was then he saw her, a figure of otherworldly grace, her eyes reflecting the depths of the river she called home. The Nixie beckoned, and Thomas, unable to resist, reached out to her. But at the moment their hands were about to touch, Thomas's foot caught on a root, breaking the spell long enough for him to glimpse the truth, a glimpse of the malice in the Nixie's eyes, the sharp, predatory smile that promised not love, but doom. Fueled by a sudden surge of fear, Thomas stumbled back, turning to flee the riverbank. Behind him, the Nixie's song grew louder, a cacophony of voices that seemed to rise from the river itself, imploring, demanding, threatening. The path back to the village, once familiar, twisted into an unrecognizable maze under the spell of the Nixie's song, each turn leading him deeper into darkness. As the night closed in, the boundary between land and water blurred, the river swelling as if to consume the very earth. Thomas ran, his heart pounding, the Nixie's laughter echoing through the night, a haunting reminder that he was not fleeing a mere legend, but a living, breathing embodiment of the river's dark heart. And as he raced against the pull of the song, the river's banks looming ever closer, Thomas realized the melody that once seemed to spell his doom began to falter, notes jarring against each other, losing their enchanting harmony. In his desperation, Thomas had unwittingly led the Nixie away from her river into the heart of the ancient forest that bordered the village, a place of old magic where the power of water spirits waned. The trees themselves seemed to stand guard, their ancient boughs weaving a protective canopy over him. The Nixie's song, so compelling by the water, held little sway here, her form flickering like a mirage caught in the moonlight. Gasping for breath, Thomas reached a clearing he had never seen before, where moonlight pooled on the ground, casting an ethereal glow. In the center of the clearing stood an old stone well, its depths lost to shadow. It was a well of legends, said to be as old as the village itself, a place of wishes and, more importantly, of bindings. With the Nixie's frustrated screams echoing behind him, Thomas approached the well, an idea forming in his mind. He remembered a tale his grandmother once told him of how ancient villagers had bound a water spirit to protect the land. It was a pact sealed with a sacrifice, not of blood, but of a promise kept through generations. Taking a coin from his pocket, Thomas whispered his vow to the well to honor and protect the old ways, to respect the balance between man and nature. He dropped the coin into the darkness, its descent ending with a soft splash that seemed to resonate through the forest. The effect was immediate. The Nixie's cries ceased and the forest fell into a deep, encompassing silence. Then, to Thomas's astonishment, the well glowed with a soft blue light spreading across the clearing, enveloping him in its radiance. When the light faded, Thomas found himself alone, the Nixie gone, her presence in the land sealed once again by the ancient pact. But the well remained aglow, a beacon in the night, its waters clear and still. In the days that followed, Thomas's encounter with the Nixie became a tale of its own, woven into the fabric of the village's history. 
The well in the clearing was regarded anew, a sacred place of protection and promise. And as for Thomas, he never forgot the night he danced with a legend, nor the lesson it taught him. That even in a world of science and certainty, there is room for mystery and for the ancient packs that keep us safe. The surprise was not just in surviving the Nixie, but in discovering the power of belief and the strength of the bonds that tie us to our past and to the natural world around us. Let us know what you thought of this story in the comments. Thank you for listening. Join us tomorrow for a new untold story. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more artificial apparitions. And while you're here, go ahead and listen to the next terrifying story on your screen.